from all the countries. <laughs> wow, I'm blown away. Like like always, like always. You you guys are amazing. You guys are the one amazing. Um, it's incredible, you know. Uh, and in this month of May, how much we grow as a company, and as you remember how the diamonds are shaped, they come out of the you know the carbon really dark carbon and then they you know it comes out a beautiful uh shaped stone diamond and that is what is uh, I, i've seen i've been seeing in the in the company with all of you you know great directors um this month many managers uh we're gonna talk about and cover at the end but i just wanted to tell you guys that like you the same way the company is being shaped. Like you, we as a company going through pains and going through developments in order to grow and to the next step. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about a little bit the uh, cryptocurrency condition right now, because this is not a, no, a new news, you know, it's, it's not something that happened suddenly. It happened before. It happened in 2013. It happened in 2017. It happens now. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about also what is what it is or how it is to build a real business. Um, I know that many platforms out there, you know, uh, keep the members happy, do whatever it takes uh, to not shake things up. And because, you know, they're gone after three to six months. And what happened is that in real life, we have real situation. In real businesses, we have real situations. And that's why uh, many billions of dollars, if you can slide that up, uh, John, many billions of dollars in the current market were, were liquidated uh after a sell-off and uh, a lot of thought in the cryptocurrency industry if you look at the charge that i'm presenting right right now we're talking about uh, re uh you know relative unrealized unrealized loss that it happens time to time when the market dip and what what is going on is that this is nothing compared what happened in November 2018 the market dip was 114 percent dip down and on realized losses uh, were staggering numbers and recently in 2020 in March it went down 44 percent so now we, we, we're, what we're seeing right now is because the, the price is so high that market condition seems very more deep and uh, but we're, we're close to 9.5 percent in the market cap down 65 billion dollar and realizes losses so what i mean in and if you can translate this we are in a bull run market and like traders have patience to make the win and in real life you have patience to achieve what you are going to achieve you have to go through four year of college in university to graduate and incredible most of the people quit to universities so what i'm talking about patience in business and in real life is this what we are seeing right now now if you are new in cryptocurrency and you see the price of the bitcoin in 64000 and as suddenly it goes down to 30, you know, you be with your you be with your hands in your head wondering what the heck is this? No, this is, you know, normal to stabilize the market, you know, and it's healthy for the market, actually. Mm -hmm. And if you study history, it always correct 50%, 55% in a bull run. In 2017, as I remember like now, the Bitcoin was 14,000 and it went down to eight something, seven and a half thousand, you know, before to hit the 20,000. Um, so this is 
a bull market and if you go into the next slide john you will see that right now fought was something that floated the industry in and in, in, um in cryptocurrency starting with uh, ceos of card companies that i will not mention his name because it doesn't worth it but making announcement and taking advantages of the crypto industry that he recently joined because he's a new newbie and uh, fought in China like, like 10 years ago, five years ago, when the crypto goes uh, notice and it makes people life better, uh, they announced that their policy in the uh, environmental policy is, is, is not good. So this chart here shows a lot of the miners selling after this fought with China and selling into the exchange. And when you produce only 900 BTC per day and you realize that miners are obligated to distribute their BTC like 300 uh, BTC per day is almost half of the production that is being sold. Now, a good news is uh, institutional buyers are out there again buying more BTC. We are in the middle of the biggest bull run so far. We are not even seeing the high top in the industry. And I have a point after all this uh, talking with the BTC and the market condition, it all leads to a understanding better what is happening. It all leads that it's not at the end of the world for the BTC, like it didn't what it it, it didn't was for uh, in 2012, 13, or in 2017, 18 when it dipped down, you know. Uh, but it dipped down at the end of the bull run. We're not even close to the end of the bull run because those numbers uh, grew three, four x, five x, you know. And we, we, we just grew 1x so far. So we, we are far away from uh, ending the bull market. And I know a lot of thought out there also regarding our company uh, because our company is holding up and managing through difficult situations in the current time with uh, our payment methods that for, for sure we're going to talk about a little bit about some ideas in the payment methods to, so you can be edified about it and you, you have more knowledge about all their stable points and, and things that you're wondering, okay, how you don't use another payment method? We're going to cover all that. So just stay put there. But my point regarding the market is that we are a company that have a team of people expert people working behind the scenes we're not just a company that came in for one year two years we're just a baby company we're just starting we are going through the pain of the growth and we're managing all that pain along with you unfortunately we need to be together and working together towards our goals because we are in this together we work for you guys and we want to create one of the best companies out there in MLM and, you know, in the crypto space, uh, in Forex market. By the way, we have some great news on that too. <laughs> and uh, we got a lot of, uh, uh, leaders excited about that already. I'm not going to say anymore, but let's leave it like that. <laughs> let's leave it like that. We're, we're, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna share more later on, but, Growing pains, I know uh, John Kinnear has really interesting stuff about those growing pains that companies usually go through. And in this case, it's not the end of the world, guys. It's, it's, it's just three weeks. We're just clearing up already payments from the uh, from the 12th, from the 13th, from the 14th, you know? And it just, it just, we're just half month away to clearing this up and look at the market. The market comes and go 40, 30, 32, 35, 
we're doing every day making things worth it for not losing money I, yeah i'm gonna do a question for you guys when you do a business you do business to lose money and keep your customer happy or do you do a business for making money and do your customers happy first one right first one right <laughs> so in order to ensure stability you know i think i have a lot of people that have jobs and they you know and they have one paycheck a month they even have two paycheck a month and you know what is the word that is only a paycheck they're not making wages they're they not making income they just you know they just <laughs> making a paycheck and they have to wait and you know most of them they already own the money you know they already <laughs> have the debt to get rid of that money if you go and analyze what we're doing and you use the most common sense of all senses you realize that this is like here is what happened to people with information if i ask you a question and i and i said look if the company needs to lose 30 or 40 million dollar in order to make people and members happy for two weeks of paycheck or payout do you make them happy don't explain anything just pay them out just keep them quiet <laughs> because we're just here <laughs> for the for the short term we're gonna be out of here anyway just pay them to shut them out pay them and lose the 30 million who cares I'm reading you guys. I'm reading you the chat. I'm reading the chat. I mean, this is this is common sense, guys. It's not rocket science. It's just common sense. Now, if you look at the chart and you see <clears throat> 2011, it went down badly, corrected the hell out of it, and went up 2x. 2013, correct 50% grew after the correction 3x you remember 2017 i i make the story for you it went up to to 14,000 and then went back to seven and a half eight thousand and then boom hit twenty thousand and it always happened in the year after the halving 2012 it was the halving 2013 explode 2016 was the halving and 2017 the bitcoin explode and then what happened in may 2020 guess what the halving and what is happening in 2021 explode to this to the roof at 64,000 but you know what that's nothing when we don't even close on the all-time high on this on this uh, moment